I'm Melissa Block with NPR's All Things Considered, and I sat down recently to talk with Roger Deakins, the cinematographer behind some of the most iconic films of the last 20 years. One of them is the Coen Brothers' No Country for Old Men. I asked Deakins to watch one nerve-rattling scene with me and talk through his choices of lighting and camera angles. Describe what Javier Bardem well, looks like in this scene. You hardly see anything, but you just see this arc of light that has a, like a little orange edge to it that just goes through his, his left eye, and you see the barrel of his gun, which thankfully was just getting a little kick on it so you know what it is. There, that, I think that's fabulous, the close-up of the hole where the lock was. He gets his gun out. A double shadow of the gun as it well, it's not actually not a city, yeah, a double shadow of his gun as he puts it up to the door. And then he pushes the door open. And he stands there in this backlit shot with the headlight you can see of the car. And then cuts to the close up and then you reverse and he pans the room and we cheated it so it's though uh. both the headlights hit his silhouette. And you got this really fractured, odd image. And uh, his shadow on the wall. And that was just something that sort of we came up with at the time and thought, well, we've got to use that, as I say. And then he walks into it. It's really interesting. You get his shadow left of frame and right of frame in the mirror. And it's just, uh, you know, I love light. <laughs> when you see something like that, you go, whoa. You get, you, get, you get a kind of high, really, I suppose. <laughs> that makes sense. It's the little things in my life, you see. <laughs> but the mystery here is he's checking out the room. Yeah. Where is Javier Bardem? Where yeah, is the where psychopath? is he? Was he there? Did he know he was there? The window is locked. Yeah. And then again, I could play him in silhouette here. He just walks through silhouette with that one little light on in the background. He sits down through the light. He's there totally in silhouette. And it's just like... I love this when you can get the combination of what an actor's doing and what you can do with the light and just get those sort of that sort of imagery and the different colours. You know, he's in this warm light from the bathroom and the white light comes in from outside and and then I love the transition to the emptiness of this the the uh, Ellis's cabin where he's going to talk to the uh, the guy in the wheelchair. 